This video will provide more insight into the real estate deal acquisition of the Housing Association Trafford Housing Trust by London and Quadrant Housing Trust. This has been completed by the Real Estate UCL M&A Society team. As a summary of what we will discuss, London and Quadrant Housing Trust, also known as LNQ, is a not-for-profit association providing resident services in more than 70,000 affordable homes. They are acquiring Trafford Housing Trust, a Manchester housing association. The main vision for the deal was to increase LNQ surplus to 414 million, unlocking 4 billion worth of investment needed for 20,000 homes across the Northwest. Potential risks center around uncertainties due to COVID and the reduction of building speed due to the safety risks associated. To understand the deal, we firstly focus on the market overview. Currently affected by the pandemic, in 2019 at the time of the deal, real estate trends of note were that firstly, moderate housing price growth of 2-4% to was seen due to the subdued atmosphere mainly caused by Brexit. This is shown in the top right graph. Average rents as a whole were rising across the UK and there was a stable demand for housing. The northern housing market as a whole was expected to outperform the southern housing market and therefore, housing trusts focused on a south portfolio are expected to expand and diversify. With continued reduction in government-supplied housing, private and housing association provision was becoming a higher share of the market, as shown in the lower graph. The Trafford Housing Trust is a housing association in Manchester with one goal, making housing affordable in highly priced areas of Manchester. With over 9,000 homes and 18,000 residents, the organization continues providing cheap housing to individuals across Manchester, as seen by their recent application to construct 330 homes in Penworth Ham Mill. In terms of valuation, the company boasts an EBITDA of 10,564,000, revenue of 5,069,000, housing value of more than 195 million, and cash reserves of, one, of around 900,000. Their competitors include Peabody, Halton Housing Trust, and Raven Housing Trust. London and Quadrant Housing Trust, more popularly known as LNQ, is the leading residential developer in the United Kingdom. Founded over 50 years ago, it manages more than 92,000 homes with a revenue of £5 billion. It is a charitable housing association providing real estate services such as property development, property investment, rent and maintenance services. Their strategy is to increase their type as well as quality of housing services to address the mixed demand. Though it was a turbulent year for LNQ as new developments were paused in September 2019, its financial statements look promising with its surplus more than doubling and social housing accounting for a greater portion of their income. To give some general information on a deal, first of all, the deal was completed October 1st, 2019, representing a £235 million deal, which is also representative of the VERA value of THT. The acquisition of LNQ brought their surplus to £14 million, far greater than the surplus of the year before, approximating £271 million. Most importantly, their goal was to build two 20,000 much-needed homes across the northwest of the United Kingdom. The acquisition unlocked $4 billion worth of investments needed for these homes. The two companies agreed that THT would become a standalone and wholly owned subsidiary of LNQ, being able to retain its brand, board and executive management team. The initial potential of the deal had grown from their long-standing joint venture partnership. All in all, it will enable THT to enhance its quality home standard for 9,000 social homes in Greater Manchester, allowing for better standards of living. Their combined turnover for the year ending 31st of March 2019 was 949 million. Lastly, Larry Gould becomes the Chief Executive of THT. Edna Robinson, Group Chair of THT, joins the Ellen Q Board and Walker Ahmed, Former Group Director of Finance at LNQ has joined the Trafford Board. LNQ's acquisition of THT should provide a range of benefits, and these include uh, things such as cost based synergies, uh, whereby the ac acquisition will likely uh, provide scope for cost savings around staff, uh, that be both management and at standard levels, um, in addition to revenue based syn synergies such as 
uh, THT providing Allen Key with a, I guess, uh, higher quality reputation potentially, uh, and improving the house quality is that's a real USP to THT and something that could really be added to the Allen Key offering. In addition, uh, they provide a new market presence. Allen Key are a traditionally a very London centric firm, and I think uh, THT uh, gives them a much more northern face. Um, which clearly, uh, moving on to the idea of diversification, does that very well, uh, particularly in a time such as COVID-19 where uh, di diversification has really come to the fore. Um, additionally, it, it simply adds a growth in size of the organisation uh, in a financial and geographical sense. Um, and in regards to the financial, uh, I guess, aspect, uh, it, it improves things such as economies of scale, which really offers, again, Going back to the cost-based synergies, uh, a scope for cost savings uh, and also revenue-based benefits. There are three main risks impacting this deal. The first one being synergies, which involves the London Housing Quadrant Trust overpaying for the target firm. This could lead to a large issue as it destroys shareholder value, thus eventually the firm's value. The second one involves poor management that occurs, mainly due to integration shortfalls when the two firms' internal processes are combined. Lastly, there could potentially be unforeseen costs that affects the deal through market disruptions during the acquisition period. Although, since the deal was placed before the coronavirus was announced, the implications following this event was not an issue for the specific deal. In the long run, the deal will give LNQ access to the northwest of the country and leverage on THT's local knowledge, relationships and reputation. This expansion is also in line with the government's level up plan to boost the prosperity of areas outside of London and the southeast of England. LNQ's development plans will be greatly supported by a recently announced affordable homes program. This program will fund up to 180,000 homes over the next five years. An estimated £11.5 billion will be invested, and the balance of funds has been revised from a 50-50 split to a 35-65 split between London and the rest of the country. Moreover, housing prices in the Northwest is expected to rise faster than the rest of the UK over the next five years, and this presents a lucrative opportunity for the merged entity. We hope this presentation has provided you some insight as to why deals like this happen. In many cases, Southern Housing Trusts are now looking towards the north of England as they continue to diversify their portfolio. Thank you for listening.